Hey there, Pisces. Hope you are doing well, fam. Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie. I have been traveling the last week or so, guys, um, and we've got the readings out there, but I'm happy to be back. It's kind of felt weird not connecting in every day with you guys, even though I was on um, comments and chat when I could and responding to emails for all of those who've registered for our free session to focus on your goals, your dreams, you know, manifesting the things you want in your life and clearing out the things that you don't want. Um, if you haven't registered for that yet, we're going to be hosting it live in the next week. There is no cost. Register below. We already have about 70 or so registered and I can max out at 100 and we will make it work, guys with the time zones um you know we'll figure it out as i want to be here and available for you all right so let's kick off and see what's happening the week ahead i have cleared the energies and space for you guys so just remember this is a general reading and a timeless one so this may not resonate for all of you but we'll hopefully get some messages for you either way guys all right so kicking off whoa We've got action, journey, all tied up, envy. I feel like I need to get one more for our Pisces, sun, moon, and rising energies. This could be, though, any placement Pisces, or if you are a cross watcher for a Pisces, could be vice versa too. So let's connect in and see what messages are coming through for the week ahead. All right, so we've got action, journey, all tied up, envy, healer of the ages. There's good energy. I'm feeling like um, something's going to be moving forward, Pisces. And then I feel like there's going to be a moment of feeling a bit stuck about something. Um, and maybe questioning something or even someone perhaps looking at what you're doing and what's going on and how to reach or achieve that as well. Um, it could also be someone that you may be looking on, like there's some vision or goal that you have and you're trying to work out how to get there. And maybe to you're looking on at what others are doing. I'm just feeling here, and this will work really well if you're coming to the session. Sometimes, I mean, I think it's wonderful having, you know, visions and having an ideal of what you want your life to be. I think sometimes what we, happens is we can lose focus on our path and our journey when we're really looking at what others are doing because you have a natural talent. You have a natural flair. There's something, you know, unique. Everyone is special in their own way, but there's something unique that you have that it's God given gift for you that you're meant to use use and apply in the work that you're doing. And I feel somewhere along this path, this is where something may be getting a little stuck. We're going to have a look um, further in, but whatever this is, we're seeing something beautiful happen here and something balancing it out. And I feel like this is part of the healer of the ages is you claiming your power and healing something here or a thought or a pattern or behavior to help clear this out, to really start making some significant traction um, in terms of wherever you're going or whatever you are doing, Pisces. So let's dive in and see what our spirit has um, and wants you to know. All right, so let's dive in and see for our Pisces. Uh, I feel like there's something pretty fun and exciting happening for you this week. So we've got Tower and the Lovers. Let's just get a couple more and, um, and Strength. Okay. This is interesting with the action energy, the tower, the lovers and the strength. So I feel like there's something that's coming towards you and maybe to your, it's not potentially anything that you're really maybe expecting. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this, this news or this information is something that's you're moving towards, but something is going to present itself. Maybe that you're not expecting or a decision or proposition that's making you um, having to sit back for a minute and consider here. Cause the lovers can be about a choice too, but this could be, you know, a choice or a shakeup um, or an opportunity towards something that you've, you've been wanting. Um, and sometimes for that to happen, things just um, may reveal itself or opportunities present itself that, it's like, really, it had to come now when I'm here and I'm enjoying where I'm going, the path and the direction that I'm heading. So that I just feel like there's something coming up here. This could be like in terms of an offer. This could be in terms of love, relationship, uh, a goal, 
in your career or something of that nature. We're going to dive in ver uh, deeper and see what, what this Tower and Lovers energy is. But let's just see what else is coming up as we move through this Pisces and then further clarify. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Swords. Okay, this is good. Because I feel like, like I said, there's something that I think you're making good progress wherever you're going. And then all of a sudden we're seeing this something show up for you that you're kind of like, man, maybe that's something that you've been wanting for some time. And it's like now it's happening and it's and you're in a good place. So maybe that's part of the envy energy that's coming on through. Because things are good is what I'm feeling. Things are feeling good. Things are progressing. Things are moving forward. But now it's like, I think ultimately it's maybe something that you've really wanted is showing up. And it's just like, I've been wanting this for so long. Why now? I don't know. This could be related to a person, an opportunity, career, but maybe you've accepted or gone into a connection with something or someone else. So we've got the moon, the world's energy, and let's just get one more and then I'll share more of what's showing up here for you. So this is the week ahead for you, Pisces. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there is something that's going to come to light. I feel some truth that you weren't aware of that is going to put you on a path of a very successful opportunity or you feel like this is finally the success or the opportunity that's going to get you to this next stage or this next path of what it is that you are seeking here, Pisces. Um Maybe there's been some feeling here about something that you didn't know, but you also had this niggle of feeling, knowing that this is going to happen, this is going to arrive or something's going to present itself. Maybe you've known or maybe you you feel that in some way. Um, but this is good because you're getting the clarity on it. You're getting the truth and the understanding of what you wanted to know or what you thought wasn't there because I think there's something that you thought maybe had been wasn't going to show up maybe maybe you thought it had passed or something of that nature just with this energy showing up here but there, there's definitely something that i feel is is going to present itself and this is a good thing with this world energy this i feel part two is about the timing of it um Maybe you had to meet or connect with someone who had some deeper insight than you knew. Um, and maybe to the right people and the right opportunities had to also be in the right place and time too. You know, that divine timing element, right? It's not just about you. It's about other people that can help push that forward. It could be, you know, uh, maybe for some of you looking at, um, I don't know why this is coming up guys, but maybe some of you, there's something that you wanted to do, something you wanted to accomplish, but it had something to do with your, your credit score or your debts or, um, a home that you wanted. But again, the right people, the right timing, the right way of it evolving and growing the location, the right people. I just, I'm just getting like, everything had to come into accumulation for that, for it to actually show up. But also, too, I think there's a big part of, of having the freedom and doing what, you know, keeping on going and keeping that faith. And I think then you take a standstill going, this is showing up now, but I've just looked at this or I've just accepted this and I'm just doing this. Like, why is this showing up now? So I'm just, I'm feeling that a little bit here. So let's dive in deeper and see what this tower energy is so we can understand more for you, Pisces. We've got the emperor. I'm just getting the word decision maker. So yeah. So with the lovers and the two of pentacles, again, there's something that's being weighed up. There's some choice here that seems to be happening. Interestingly with this emperor energy, yeah, I got a kind of a decision maker, but this also could be Pisces, you taking back the control and starting to make decisions for you that feels connected and in alignment. Again, with this lover's energy, I'm just getting that little bit of Adam and Eve energy is like the temptation versus the, the truth of what it is that you want. Not doing things to fill a gap, but doing things because that feels right. That feels correct. You've got your head on straight. You, you walk on that path. And I feel that's a part of this decision-making process. Who are you listening to? What are you doing as you're moving forward on this path and journey? I'm just going to take a quick sip of my drink, guys. I don't know if you, you like this one. Um, I've got a Fresca. It's sparkling soda water, grapefruit citrus. It's just so refreshing. 
All right. Strength energy. So we've got all tied up again, similar energy up here. And then we've got the four of swords. I'm just getting something about holding, holding what's true here, Pisces, your truth. And I think as part of that, with this four of swords, you can see there's three swords here and the fourth sword laying down to rest. So there's something here you're getting to a truth that maybe had um, just had you thinking in a way that felt like just a bit heavy on the heart is what I'm getting about a situation here. I don't know what that situation is for you. Yours is going to be unique to yours. It could be in business. It could be in career, could be a relationship of some kind, but there's something here. Maybe too, you're waiting on someone to make a decision. Okay. Uh, and that's what you're waiting on. But whatever we're seeing here is something's moving forward. There, there's energy, there's energy in this. Okay. Uh, is what's showing up here with this action and journey. There's definitely energy and movement forward wherever you're going. Your bags are packed. The light is lit. You're going Pisces. So if you're in concern of that or question of some choice and some path, we're seeing this moving forward either which way, but you might be in a little bit limbo for some period of time um, or a couple of days this week, just waiting, waiting, waiting. But it's like, you're going to get this clarity and it's finally like, thank goodness, because this has been weighing on me, right? Because you're getting the clarity, you're getting the truth. Now it's, it's showing up and revealing itself. So if you're feeling a little stuck, just, just hang in there. Okay. Um, we've got the moon energy, the eight of pentacles, the world energy, the six of pentacles, everything's moving beautifully forward for you, Pisces. And then the last ones coming out is the three of pentacles and the magician. This is you manifesting it, baby. And we like that. I've had to turn my light on because it's getting dark here. I'm recording this a bit later, a lot later than normal. Anyway, um, as I've said, I've only just got back from my my trip. Okay. So I'm loving this Pisces. Whatever is showing up is showing up because of the work that you're putting in and, and who you are as a person. There's a lot of effort and energy. Like I said, I'm just feeling energy movement. Um, for some of you too, this could be around work, getting an offer and opportunity around work. And um, yeah, I'm just getting like an offer on the table. This is about something that you do, that you personally exert in, um, you know, income, that's part of the definition. It's about personal exertion, the income that you earn from that. And I feel like this is a part of it. For some of you too, this could be, um, I don't know, making a decision. If some of you are looking at going back to school, um, considering that, but whatever it is, this turn of events is working out really well. And I just think for some of you, people are going to look upon you and going, how do you pull this off Pisces? How do you make this happen all the time? Because we're seeing this success happen, the su success unfold that you've always been wanting um, and things working out in your favor. So where things may have been a little bit of a struggle financially, Pisces, or you've been concerned about that, waiting for this to come through, waiting for that to come through. I'm just seeing it all, all slot into place for you. Okay. This week, um, is what's showing up in addition to the high priestess and the three of pentacles. I feel there's something I'm getting a lot of manifesting energy. Yes. We've got the magician and the high priestess, but I'm just getting something here that someone someone quite significant in your, um, in your path or on your path or around you here with this healers of the ages energy, I am getting like, this is a person around you. Okay. That is very, has, has insight, gets stuff and is really supportive on your path and journey. You may not look at them or recognize the significance of this person, I mean, this could be someone who offers you a contract. Okay. This could be someone that's changing your life, but it may seem quite subtle in the power this person can, can, um, bring this greatness in your life because we're seeing a commitment. We're seeing an offer. We're seeing the work being done and people coming together to make this happen. So like I said, everything's slotting into place here. And this is something that you've manifested and allowing to put your, what lights you up, your talents, your skills, and bring it all together to do whatever it is that you need to do. So I'm really, really liking this for you, Pisces. We're going to get a few, a few more cards to get some final clarifiers for the week ahead. Okay. 
Um, so let's get some angel tarot and see what else they want us to know here. All right. Thank you, spirit. So first up, we've got the queen of earth. This is saying make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. And this is really interesting that we've got the queen of um, earth here because we are seeing about making decisions and dealing with the challenge. That's what seems to be a challenge here. Something opening up, something sharing some form of information or insight with you that's kind of like, taken you back a bit and it's like okay well now I need to to make a decision because I think you you're moving in a certain direction here but someone else is coming in with something else that's going and presenting something to you is what I feel so if this is a challenge in retrospect to um I don't know the delivery or the way it's presented or something of that nature. It's just asking you don't take it at that value. Go deeper on, on how this connects for you and what's true to you as part of this decision-making process. But there's someone here that's taking control of this. And I get, I think there's a choice between if you want to leave that to someone else or you're going to take the power and do what you need to do here, Pisces, is what I'm getting. So just be mindful of that. All right, let's share more. Thank you on the next section. We've got five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So I think this is going to be part of the, the challenging aspect. This is coming up twice now. Um, this is fire energy though, and this is earth energy. So whatever's being presented to you, you're going to get to the truth of the matter, okay? But I think sometimes the truth or the lack of clarity that you may have at a certain point in time is what's keeping you feeling stuck. But I think what, what is helpful is also making a decision for yourself on what the truth is. If you cannot, sometimes we can't get closure or can't get to the root of the matter and understand that, especially when there's other people involved, we can't control them, right? All we can do is have that, take that power back and make decisions for ourselves. And I feel like this is a big part here of going, how do you, how do you want to feel? How do you want to, you know, respond rather than react to this situation? But spirits ask you to maintain your strength as part of this I just feel there's a little shift going on and something presenting itself to you that I just feel you may feel now is the wrong timing, but it's always, it's something that you've been wanting for a long time at the same time. So let's, uh, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah. So decision making, we've got a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So a decision needs to be made either way, Pisces. And this is a big part of taking the control back. For some reason, this envy energy is coming on in again. I don't know if this is you or um, in, the, in terms of worried about missing out about something, looking at what else is out there and the potential of something rather than focusing on what's being presented to you, because you can do something magical here with it. Okay. Um, it's spirits just asking you like, it's okay to make a decision and make a decision on what you want, Pisces. This is about you and your truth. Okay. And seeing things for what they are, because there's something here that I feel is, is going to be very beneficial, especially with this eight of pentacles and six of pentacles showing up. There's commitment here. And I feel like there's just something really, just really strong is what I'm getting, uh, for your foundation. So yeah, I'm just like, don't, don't fear it. We had quite a lot of cards fall out. So I'm just going to put them back. Way too many. All right. Just one more. Thank you, spirit. And, and then I'll get a couple of moon cards to wrap this up. I love it. You've got the strength energy again. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So this could be part two of something, some, someone that's in your energy or in your space, that's going to support you through this chapter Pisces of making something pretty amazing happen um, and doing it for you. But there's something here I can see you're manifesting or, or, or going to reveal a decision here. Okay. So something this week about decision making seems to be quite significant. Let's get a few more cards on what spirit wants you to know. Be, bro be bold and make the first move is what's showing up here, Pisces. Nothing is yet set in stone. So as we said, you know, there could be like you're moving a certain direction, something's showing up and it's like, what now? That's kind of the energy that I'm getting, but it's letting you know it's okay. 
how can we get smart? How can we get creative in making something work that you've always wanted? And it doesn't mean that you have to, um, I'm getting like, you don't have to settle. Okay. You don't have to miss out on one or the other. I think there's something here that you can make work and you may not, may not realize this for some of you, if this is about a home, um, as an example, and you're like, oh, but I'm here, but I really wanted this. And now this is being offered. Okay. And you've already signed this or signed that. How, what, what options are available to you? And I think that's a part of doing some extra research in part of the decision-making process. Maybe you can, maybe you can get one rented out, um, or, you know, just have a look at that. Maybe it's, you can find another buyer, turn the house around. I don't know. There's something that you, I feel there's an option or opportunity that you can, can take here. All right. What else do we need to know? And then we've got expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. This is really nice, Pisces, the powerful change. And we see this with the world energy. We see this with things balancing out and coming into promise and commitment towards something that's quite spectacular. I just, there's some really strong energy about you manifesting what you want. Um, and I just think there's a little bump here, maybe for a day or something. I mean, we are in the, the full moon energy. I think at this time of this reading, still. Um, so just be mindful of that as part of this process, but something's going to show up and reveal itself. And I, I think you're just going to be like, what the, uh, so let's see where this takes us. It sounds exciting. Um, and I'd love to hear more on how you feel connected to this. We'll catch you again soon. My loves speak soon. Bye.